you want to start off in manual or do you want to have a go in? We'll start in manual and just yeah. get a flavour for that and then sort of build up. So folks, here we go then, part two of our look at the new John Deere large frame uh, 9RX uh, tractors. We're now in the in the flagship, in the 9RX 830, 830 yeah. we're in the 830 base, 913 horsepower. So if you've not seen part one, that's where we did a really good walk round in the yard. So we got to know the tractor, got all the ins and outs of it with Thomas giving us uh, all the information. As you can see now, we're in the cab, we're in the field. Uh, and we're going to have a bit of a bash really just to see what is what particularly in terms of uh, operation of this machine and a few of the cab updates as well so we'll crack on Thomas uh, I think we'll should we kick off in manual and uh, see what the yeah, crack is there so it's just it's all on the stick obviously yeah. there's no shuttle on this beast uh, I noticed we've actually got an accelerator pedal yeah, instead of a D right. cell yeah so is that an option that yeah so you can select whether you want an accelerator or a decelerator in the price pages, so you can kind of tailor it to what you want, really. Right. Oh, so oh hello. Where's he come <laughs> from? Got some company. Look at that. It's busy in this field, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Off we go. So we're fully Off manual we at the moment. All manual. Yeah. Manual throttle. Eighth gear. Now, you told me the shifts yeah. are smoother. And yeah. we just did one then, and um, I never felt it. You so hardly knew it. Ninth. Tenth. Tenth. One more for good measure. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, go for it. So here we go. Yeah. And we <laughs> we're just uh, yeah, we're we're catching up. Um, along. Yeah, we've got a cockling each, haven't we, cultivator? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we've got what's this? A nine meter this. Ours is a nine meter, yeah. And lots and lots of tines buried thirty centimetres yeah, yeah. deep. So yeah. it's uh, it's quite an anchor is this uh, this cultivator. Granted, we're on a bit of work land at the moment. There is some uh, untouched land to do in a little bit, so it'd be nice to see what it's like. So there is the old. I say old 9RX. That's the current 9RX, is it? Yeah. Obviously, that's the now the small frame. Yeah. The uh, which almost begs the question: Why don't you call this the 10RX, with it being a brand spanker? Yeah, I think that's a fair question. I think you know. At the end of the day, <coughs> seeing as how we've got six series, really, we've got multiple different frame sizes, yeah, so different you've got use cases. Four frame sizes in the yeah, six yeah. are, haven't you? So it's because at the end of the day, they're a similar kind of class of tractor. Okay, yeah. the concept's pretty different, and this, this is a completely separate tractor. But at the end of the day, broadly speaking, it's the same customer base that are going to be buying this tractor, but maybe on a different scale of farm. Yeah. So it just made sense to keep it the same numbering. That's it. Yeah. The look of the tractor, although under the bonnet, it's pretty different. Yeah. The kind of mid articulation. That's it, they're sort of, yeah. uh, from a distance they're broadly similar looking but as yeah. we are found in the walk round oh, yeah. completely totally. and utterly <laughs> different. This new 9RX large frame is completely different to the small frame. Yeah, well yeah. not so small yeah. frame because obviously that has a frame and this is yeah, all structural. This is just, yeah, structural uh, chassis. But then it's, you know, if you look at Six R small frame and a six R what we call extra large frame. Yeah. Those two tractors are near enough completely different as well, to a certain extent. Yeah. Uh, you have plenty of models, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> we've got something for everyone. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> but even the downshifts under load, then it's not like a. No, you no. know, it's just. No, no. Gently does yeah. it. It's definitely much yeah. more refined, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And this is still a pre-production software as well, so hopefully by the time production ones start rolling off the line, right. November time, it'll have taken another step forward as well. Okay, that's so depending on when these guys are watching this, so November 2024, that's when production yeah. really kicks off with this yeah, machine, yeah. is it? Right. Yeah. The steering's plenty light enough, I can feel that yeah, one. Yeah, right? you don't need to put much input in. No, it, is yeah. that... Is it fly by wire on this? Or is yeah, it, yeah, you, it can, is, you, right. can, you can adjust the sensitivity as well if you yeah. look at the display. You can't look at it in a minute if you want. Right. And like we're saying in the walk round, with this being all structural, you've still got the room to yeah. 
you know, for the actual tractor to articulate. Yeah, if you think this tractor's nearly nine metres long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've not been long turning around there, have you, really? No, that's it. It's um, not a bad turning range. Yeah. I mean, it's, like, it's all relative, isn't it? We've got lots <laughs> yeah, of space well, yeah. to play with it. And amazingly, I can see the drawbar. Oh, yeah. From yeah, where yeah, I'm sat, yeah, I yeah. can see the top of the drawbar pin. Completely, yeah. You can even, if you look like down to the track unit at the back here, yeah. you can see the rear, under the rear track units down the sides there. Yeah. So you've got yeah, brilliant visibility all around, really, from, especially from the back. Well, that's it, you can see right down yeah, yeah, into see, the pivot point down see, there. You can see the ground under the, under the axle. Yeah. Right, so let's get back to operation then. So, yep. like I say, we are manual now. Yep. Super smooth and is expected to get better. Yeah, all good correct. stuff so far. So this is for those who may not have seen the water round. So this is the E20 what? E21. This, this one. is the E21. So yeah. 21 gears all the way right through. But there's more gears in the box than that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's 24 speeds technically. Right. Um, but it uses a different power flow when you shift it up through the gears compared yeah. to when it's coming back down. So for example, on seven, there's a seven A and a seven B. Yeah. And it, selects which one depending on which way you're going through the gears. Right, so it's that's the point where, I don't know, clutch pack swap it over there or something or other. Yeah, that's, that's essentially like the range change if you like. Yeah, yeah. so it just smooths out the range change yeah. basically. Overlaps yeah. the ranges basically. Pretty much, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. got you. There you go. So, here we go, we're, we're in manual. Now, can we go auto or uh, customise? What have we, we got? definitely can. If you press that cog there down the bottom, that well, shortcut. So yeah. shortcut into the gears. Yeah, and then you can select either manual, custom or full auto. Right, so, so we'll try full auto, try full auto We'll go yeah. from one extreme to the other, so we'll go... Ooh. Hello. So now that's, you're in full auto now, so it should, in theory, it'll just calculate what it wants and it'll... Right. So you can set your set speed, so if you, you've got your thumb wheel scroller on the thing here, right. so you can put your set speed, and so then it, it'll try and hold it you. Ten there. Yeah. Yeah, so you've oh, got, so that's yeah, so one, F1 which, set to 8. So F1, that's the target speed is 8k, yeah. which it's trying to achieve at the moment. And then two. F2, which is set at 12k. So as I put uh, the throttle input on that, is that effectively... Yeah, it'll adjust the ratio of the gearbox depending on what the... Right, so the I've backed off and it's going, actually, yeah. no, we need to gear down now. Yeah, yeah. So if I give it the beans like that... There we go, so there it's, it's found its cruise speed there. Yeah. Straight to 12k. And because it doesn't need all the revs, it's just keeping yeah. it at yeah. 1500 there, which yeah. is actually 1590, that's its happy yeah. spot. That's, where that's max be. power, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Basically. yeah. So yeah. that's what, we've unleashed all 913 yeah. donkeys there. Pretty right. much. So at the moment, like, as I just pull that back now, the throttle slider, Yeah. we're almost treating it like a CVT, like, a, you know, yeah, like yeah. you're pulling back on a combine. Yeah, yeah. Pull it, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's effectively working out the revs what and the ratios, do, yeah. what it needs to do, so we can just drive it like that. That's pretty cool. And then we'll get spun round. We'll have a, we'll have another, yeah. We'll have a deeper look. So let's just sort this headland out. So now, because it is in full auto, I'm effectively driving it like an auto. I'm just giving it an input. Yeah. And then. And it's working out the rest of it for me. Yeah. And then you can sit back in your massaging seat and let it do its thing. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, it's a John Deere, so it does yeah. have a decent seat. I'll give yeah. that to you. You boys do know how to do a decent seat. So like if I give it the the beans again, yeah, it will now yeah. try and achieve that 12 kilometers an hour, which it's yeah. pretty much doing. Yeah. 11.7, 15.70 RPM, we're climbing up a bit now. Yeah. If we shut that window there, we can see. Yeah, you're up, 100% engine load. Where's the engine load on it? Oh, there yeah, it is. Left on side there we go, 100, 113, 120, 106. Expecting it so, work yeah. up here. Yeah, it knows it's there. Got a bit of a hill here, haven't we? Ah, it definitely knows it's there, all right. Yeah. And as we were talking about in the water round, obviously you've got big stacks yeah. left and right. I mean, the left air intake, that's not so bad. That's no. almost, if you squint a bit, almost hidden behind that front left air pillar. Yeah. Obviously, we can see that one <laughs> yeah. on the right hand side, the big exhaust stack, but yeah. it's not the worst in the world, it's, is yeah. it? Could be know? a lot worse. Helps that there's no emission stuff in it because it'd be even bigger otherwise. Well, that's it. There's nothing there. Uh, no, no things like that because obviously we don't need death with this, we don't yeah, need ablo on no this thing, so there's no SCR cat in there or anything like that. No, with this one as well, they're taking it a bit further away from the cab compared to the current 9RX. Yeah, it's almost, well, it's a good foot away from yeah, the yeah, cab. Yeah, so that kind of helps 
It makes it look a bit smaller than it actually is to an extent. Put it in the distance. Yeah. <laughs> Forced perspective. Yeah, perspective. yeah, put it far <laughs> further away so it makes it appear smaller. But I suppose you've got less heat coming into the cab so yeah, yeah. and less noise. Yeah. And also it means you've left a nice gap to walk around the cab as well. Exactly, yeah, if you want to give the front window a wipe. Yeah. There you go, look at that, it's just, I mean, as it's levelled out now, we're on what, 80% engine load? Yeah. Just working away. So I could technically dial that up a bit, that target speed. Yeah. So I've got 12.2. Let's go for a for 14, see what happens yeah. there. Make it work, there we go, we're back. Off now, yeah. There we go, 100% 100 engine load, 115, dancing around there. <laughs>